How's it going today guys? This is Jesse and today we're going to take a look at the iCade Bluetooth Arcade Cabinet made by ION. Stick around. So the iCade was actually announced a couple years back as an April Fool's joke. But the idea just took off and people went crazy over it. So ION uh, teamed up with ThinkGeek to make it a real product. And I know it's 2017, it came out a couple years ago, but I was able to score one for about $30 on Amazon when it originally retailed for about 100 bucks. And it's definitely pretty cool to mess around with, to say the least. If you have an iPad or an Android tablet, as you can see, I have the Samsung Note 8 tablet here, a couple years old, but it still gets the job done. You can just place your tablet in here like so or sideways for landscape mode. Turn it on, and it's easy to play some of your old school favorites. I'm playing some Super Mario right now. And it actually, uh, it actually feels pretty close to a legitimate arcade machine. There's a little bit of lag here and there. And the joystick feels a little bit looser than what I remember a genuine arcade stick to feel like. But it's a very nice uh, nostalgic feel for those of us who grew up with arcades being a thing. So in order to get this paired up, there's instructions on the top here. And there's an LED indicator light right here. If you hold down the bottom four buttons and the top white button on the arcade cabinet for about four seconds, the LED light starts flashing right here. And that means it's in pairing mode. So you need to go to your tablet settings, Bluetooth, scan for devices, and you can find the iCade right here. This is where it gets tricky. It gives you a button command, but if you look up here, the buttons up here correspond with the numbers that it's asking you down here. So I need to press seven, zero, nine, five, five, four, and then enter. And now we're successfully connected. I'll leave a link to the emulators that I like the best. Any of these .mu emulators will work just fine. So right now we're gonna try out some MAME for some arcade games. So I got this game loaded up, and we're going to try some Frogger. Uh-oh. There we go. And I suck at Frogger. How about some Samurai Showdown? And the coin slot's just for show, so it doesn't actually, doesn't actually work. So I have my coin button set right here. Oh, he, he stole my weapon. There's even support for the DS emulator, Drastic. When my son was littler, this is actually how he played Mario 64. It's not very precise, but I mean, it's definitely enjoyable. Or at least fun to mess around with. Another nice touch with the iCade 
is there's actually a pass-through on the bottom where you can feed a charging cable. So you can keep your tablet charged while you're using it. It runs off of two AA batteries, and I've only ever had to change them once so far. And there's also an option on the bottom for DC input if you have an adapter. All in all, the iCade is a pretty fun product, and I definitely recommend getting one if you can get a good deal on it. It's not quite worth the hundred dollars, but I have seen some interesting projects out there where somebody takes a Raspberry Pi and hardwires the iCade's buttons to a GPIO board, and they slap a screen in there, give it a fresh coat of paint, and you have a fully functioning mini arcade machine. I may consider trying it in the future, but I'm not yet confident enough to destroy it. If you would like any more information on the iCade, or if you have any questions, just leave a comment below, like or subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.